We've seen a significant amount of fighting um, in and around the oil areas in Unity and Upper Nile states uh, with the Unity fields coming under the control of the SPLA in opposition for some periods. It's an offensive ongoing now in Upper Nile um, with the SPLA in opposition trying to take control of the Upper Nile fields. What that's meant is that an emergency pullout of workers and emergency shut down at many, many fields. So what we're seeing is a huge, huge decrease in the amount of oil that's going from South Sudan through Sudan and a big decrease in government revenues on all sides. Critical to how this plays out is also the relationship of China with both countries. Um, the oil infrastructure um, that links South Sudan and Sudan together is, is largely owned by China. China is the biggest consumer of oil that comes from South Sudan. Um, and we're seeing increasing levels of frustration from China. The issue with China is uh, China has been always somehow hiding, uh, preserving itself behind the doctrine of non-involvement. But actually, sometimes it has shown it's been able to get deeply involved, uh, in, including in the region, in Sudan, in Chad, and uh, someone for the better, someone for the worse. So I think we have to convince also China to actually get more involved as a mediator, because China's interest today has been becoming really clearer than before. It's, it's, it's an interest in regional peace that will allow China to to, to to keep, of course, exploiting local resources uh, and bringing uh, also companies and manpower and so on. So, I mean, the incentives are there for China to get involved. We probably just need a, a little bit more coordination also between the different players.